In this video, we're going to see what Jupiter looks like through a small telescope, in this case, a Teleview 60, a 60 mm refractor with a 360 mm focal length. Here is the approximate eyepiece view of Jupiter using the Teleview 60 and a 3.5 mm Nagler eyepiece, which gives you a nice wide field of view and about 103x magnification in this telescope. So, this is the actual image I took of Jupiter uh, through this telescope using my ASI 224MC camera. And I kind of shrunk it down to give you the approximate size of how Jupiter looks uh, through the actual telescope eyepiece if you're looking at it visually. Here is some raw video data from the ASI 224MC camera on the left and the stacked and processed image on the right. And in this setup, the, the visual image of Jupiter looked probably at least as good as a stacked image. I was only imaging at f15 instead of f25 like I normally do on Jupiter. Uh, since the 2.5x power mate I used with the f6 focal ratio in this telescope uh, gave an f15, so uh, it wasn't quite as big of an image on the sensor to uh, resolve things as well as what you could see with your eye visually. So how does the image of Jupiter compare in a Teleview 60 to some larger telescope? These are all images I've taken of Jupiter over the past year or so, and you can see the image uh, kind of sized appropriately from the Teleview 60, the Celestron C90, the C6, and the C8 Edge HD. So obviously you're not going to get as big of an image size with a small telescope, that's pretty clear and you're not going to also resolve as much detail. I've taken the image from the C8 and shrunk it down so it was the same size as the image from the C6, the C90, and the Teleview 60. So you can kind of get an idea of the detail you can see uh, with those different telescopes compared to what you would get at the same size if it was coming from the Celestron C8. If I blow up all the images so they're the same size, you get a better comparison here of the detail that's available between the different telescopes. Obviously, as you go up in aperture, you're going to see more detail. But anyway, you can certainly see when you compare the images at the same size that you're definitely losing detail as you go down in aperture. So even though Jupiter will often look very crisp when you have good seeing in all these telescopes, you're obviously just not gonna see as much detail as you will in a larger telescope, so no surprise there. But this kind of gives you an idea here of what I'm able to capture with these different size telescopes. Now I also did an image of Saturn, and in general the image did not come out as good as what it looked like visually. So a lot of times your stacked image uh, with a bigger telescope always looks a little bit better than what your you know visual image looks like you know through an eyepiece. So in this case, I think you know the stacked image is not as good as what you see visually through the eyepiece, at least with this particular setup that I used. So anyway, that's a look at Jupiter and Saturn through the Teleview 60. Um, this certainly, again, isn't a telescope designed for high power planetary use, but if you do want to look at the planets through this telescope, you are going to get very nice views, nice, uh, very nice and crisp, and you can see a fair amount of detail, even with the very small aperture of that refractor. Obviously, it's really designed to give you those really nice wide field views, and it does a great job at that. But if you want to push the power up, you can certainly still use it to get some decent planetary views as well. So anyway, that's all for now, and thanks for watching. Bye.